Hello guys, if you want to learn the best practices of Laravel, Spati is probably one of the top names to learn from, right? So today I want to present you a package with opinionated templates, stubs for Laravel artisan commands like make model, make migration and something, opinionated by Spati team and Freck van der Herten personally. So he replied to one of my tweets sharing this repo and I want to share that with you and demonstrate to you how it works. First, a little backstory. Maybe some of you don't know, but you can customize what is generated in this command, PHP artisan make model, whatever, project. There's a default template called stub, which is the foundation of the generated model. So for example, if we generate make model by default and open that file, it looks like this. So use has factory, namespace, and all of that. It comes from the template. And you can customize that template as well as other templates by using stub publish, then it publishes all the templates in the stub folder. If we open that file tree stubs and find the model, for example, there's a simple model stub, exactly that. It just replaces the variables with like class name, namespace and others. So this is a pretty simple one. More complex one could be, for example, controller with model. There are different types of controllers like nested, plain and others. So this is a longer thing, replacing a lot of request classes and other variables. And if you edit that stub, for example, you don't want to have has factory in your models. Okay, let's remove that. Let's remove has factory here. We save. And if we run make model, for example, again with other model and open that task model, you can see the content. There's no has factory because it generated the model from our updated stub. So that's the historical way how Laravel deals with that in general. And Spati suggests their own opinionated set of stubs for their vision of how they use it in their projects. Basically, instead of doing PHP Artisan stub publish, you require you install that package and do Spati stub publish. And then you will get the stubs by Spati. And the difference between Laravel and Spati stubs are listed here in the readme one of the main reasons so migrations don't have a down function so for example let's open the laravel migration stub it has up and down methods and if we open spati stub so here's the list of all the stubs and let's open migration there is no down method and why there's no down method i've written about that really really long time ago in 2017 Taylor himself told that he doesn't use down migrations anymore. I will link that article in the description below as well. So yeah, no down migrations. What else? Controllers don't extend a base controller. That's opinionated thing. None of the model attributes are guarded. So guarded empty in the models. Use return type hints where possible. And this is probably the most compelling to me personally. Dog blocks have been removed. So if we take a look again at Laravel stops for typical resource controller, see how many lines of code are just comments of dog blocks more than the methods themselves so display a listing show the form what to return and in this case they are basically meaningless in my personal opinion because display a listing of the resource is kind of a no-brainer to know that controller index method does exactly that then return response even if some automated software parsing the dog blocks for example, for API documentation or something, less that response is the class to return. In most cases for humans, it doesn't say much. Response, it's a pretty general class. So you can return a response with blade view or with API like a collection, JSON and stuff like that. Response basically means almost anything. So instead of dog blocks, I personally prefer return. And return, in this case, I would return not the response, but actually view something like this then it's more concrete what do we return api response or view from blade something like this and two sources of thoughts behind that behind removing the dog blocks one of them comes from spati themselves they have guidelines repository for their projects one of the section is about laravel and php and one of subsections is about dog blocks so it reads don't use dog blocks for methods that can be fully type hinted so instead of having dog block before the method, they suggest rightfully so type hinting parameters 
and what is returned. Then you don't need four lines of comments above the method. And in this case, the description is redundant, which is often the case, especially if you run make controller and the comment reads display listing from resource, which is basically meaningless. In this case, create URL from string. Well, duh, the method is called from string and returns URL. And also there are a few more comments about dog blocks. If you do use dog blocks, then a few ways how spotty guys do that with their own preferences. But that's not the point. Another source of not using dog blocks I found on the website Laravel Code Tips by Samuel Stansel. Probably should zoom it in for you to see. And probably it's not the best font color to read that. But basically what it says is that if you need to add a dog block to your function, then probably haven't done something to type hint. Instead of those params and returns, have int here in the function itself. Similar here, turn words into sentence, sentence from words, naming of the function and type hints of the parameters should say everything about what that method does and what it accepts and what it returns. And only in rare cases for some specific scenarios, you would need some comments. So that is probably my favorite change in the Laravel stubs by Spati comparing to Laravel defaults. But if we quickly run through other stubs, a few stubs, console stub looks like this and let's compare that with the original artisan command again no dog blocks which makes it much shorter and then in the handle by default it returns zero which means success but in majority of cases you delete that and then add your own functionality so why have return zero instead let's have an empty function which is i guess the train of thought by spotty guys by doing that stub Another interesting example is form request. It's interesting because there is no authorize method. Let's open the original request, form request. We have authorize, returns false by default. And I personally dislike that because in majority of cases for new form requests, I need to manually change that to true every time. So to avoid that, in spite case, there is no method at all. To be honest, I'm struggling to find if the default value of that would be true or false if no method exists. If you know the answer, this is the homework for you. Add that in the comments below. So yeah, you can customize the stubs by Laravel framework or use opinionated stubs by Spati, or you can create your own stubs, set of stubs, and then store it somewhere, or maybe create your own package. That's also an option. That could be a massive help and time saver if you create multiple smaller Laravel projects quite often. If you want more tips like this one, subscribe to the channel and subscribe to the yearly membership of my courses, currently 36 courses at laraveldaily.teachable.com. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.